So I thought I'd share a, a quick uh, a quick video with you on BIM 360 Ops and its integration into Revit. Um, really straightforward to start getting some um, asset information out of Autodesk Revit, whether it's Kobe information or, or any other asset information requirements that you may have. We can really quickly get those up onto BIM 360 Ops. So first things first, you want to make sure that you download the BIM 360 Ops add-in. Um, so that inside of Revit you get your um, export to BIM 360 Ops button and that's available via the Autodesk knowledge base. Um, but aside from that, once you're signed up onto BIM 360 Ops, which I am here, um, completely free to sign up for um, and it's free up to X amount of, uh, of tickets or issues that you raise within your, uh, within your buildings. But um, I've just come on and set up a quick portfolio with a single building. And what you need to do is basically go over to your, um, your building that you configure and just go into the building area on BIM 360 Ops. And it gives you this um, export code at the top. If we generate an export code, this will last a day essentially or to the end of the active day that you're on. And we can literally copy that um, out of um, Internet Explorer or Firefox or Chrome or whatever it is that you're using because we need that to be able to come back into Revit. And when we go to export, it will ask for that code. Before we do that, we just wanna make sure that we don't have anything in our views that we don't want to export. Now, for the purposes of today, um, I'm just gonna export everything um, that I've got in my active view. Um, but typically, if this was a very large design or a very detailed design, you'd want to limit it to just the managed or maintainable assets that you would like to be able to export across into BIM 360 Ops and to be able to see in the BIM 360 viewer. For the purpose of today, we're just going to say export. We have our 3D view active. We quite simply paste in our generation code in here. Now, if you've already uploaded the model once, which typically takes more time than uploading the properties, you can just choose to upload the element properties if you're not fussed about sending the model up. But in this case, we're gonna do everything. So we type in our generation code or paste in our generation code, sorry, and press submit. This will go away now. This will take a few minutes to essentially take all of my assets and upload them into my demo project on the server. So after, after a few minutes, um, depending on the size of your model, could be a little bit longer, your upload will complete, your export will be sent to the BIM 360 Ops servers, and you have the ability to jump into your browser of choice and start working through your assets. So we can either start in our portfolio and then go through to our building, so on and so forth, or view all of our assets in one bulk um, lump. But I just wanna show you, for the purpose of this video, that now if we go to our building, we go to our assets, we have a list of every single one of our assets that we have uploaded from Revit. Each one of those assets has the relevant information that BIM 360 Ops needs that's been taken directly from Revit um, where relevant. But we can also add to that. So we've got the ability to add barcodes, QR codes, start scheduling maintenance, we can start looking at the hierarchical links between different locations. So this particular asset is sat within this meeting room. I can use this link to jump directly to that meeting room should I want to and start looking at the level that that's on or all of the individual assets within that room and start looking at how these components are linking together. Once we've found a component that we want to look at and we've added any other information that we want, for the purpose of today, I just want to show you that now if I go to viewing my 3D model, we have an intelligent model using the Autodesk 360 online viewer, which will go and show me my asset in situation in the BIM. We can come in here and start looking at this, rotating around this and seeing where this sits in relation to the building. We can view that in standard third person if you like, or we can go into first person view if we go into first person view, that will take us into um, uh, like a, a walk around environment, if you like, where we can actually put ourselves on the floor and start walking around the building, um, if that is what you want to do. Um, you know, it really depends on, on how you want it to work. But that's on all of the individual assets. So we can come onto one of the other assets down here. Let's come and choose a lighting fixture. And we can say we want to view this lighting fixture in the model. And again, very quickly, it will open up the building, isolate that lighting fixture, and allow you to see that to see exactly what's going on 
with that lighting fixture. Okay. So it really does work well. Um, it's very quick to get the information up onto BIM 360 Ops. It also works very well through your phone, whether you have an iPhone or um, a tablet through an iPad or an Android device. The app works really well and lets you do all of the same functionality within the app, as well as adding tickets, adding assets manually, so on and so forth. That's kind of all I want to show you today. We'll save the rest for a future video, but hopefully that clears up how we view um, our assets on BIM 360 Ops after sending them up from Autis Revit.